Hi, Casper here from Bose Wine on the 21st of April 2015 and I'm going to taste uh, 2008 white Chardonnay de Pat from the Domain Saint Préfère. Um, this wasn't their first vintage, it's quite an early vintage, I think the first vintage was probably 04, 05. Um, so, you know, we're talking quite early stuff. And being un an untried uh, estate, an untried wine, no one was quite sure how long these white wines would last. Um, and, uh, I, you know, I was aware that we had some stock of this still remaining, and I just got into a state where I was a bit nervous about allowing it to be sold, so um, I've just been sitting on it doing nothing, uh, um, which is always a bad idea. Anyway, got some out, thought I'd have a look, and you know, it's good colour, I mean, when I say good colour, it's a real positive, um, pronounced colour, uh, that pretty much looks healthy, I mean, it, it, it's on the, on, I think on the cusp, it's deep gold rather than sort of having any brown hues to it. So, and the nose is the nose is, is fully mature. I mean, it has this br a nutty breadth, a sort of almond pasty, slightly saline, putty-like um, quality. Which I mean, it's all of which you'd find in in white shut enough to pat, but this is it, it has an extra layer perhaps for maturity. Mm. <laughs> like does, does anyone else make wines like this? I mean, just most extraordinary. You put it in your mouth and you immediately sent back to to school and eating fruit fruit gums actually specifically it has this sort of fruit gum like quincy sort of fruit and. Um, Density, you know, minerality and almond sort of slightly saline paste to it. Uh, you know, touch, touch gluey, lots of spice. Very fresh, really nice acidity um, through it actually, and. Um, you know, really interesting wine. I think um, if you're into these wines and sort of can get your head around them, and, and I understand there are a lot of people out there who just don't don't get it, don't don't really get these wines. I think if 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 they they are your bag, I think you'll get this. It's it's um, fascinating. I mean, to think that a a, a a bunch of grapes can end up like doing that sort of thing is is quite mind blowing, really. Um, you know, not one for keeping really any that much longer. I'm just looking for the alcohol, 13.5%, so fairly moderate. Um, you know, nicely fresh, fully, fully mature, have it with some food, and that could be something pretty meaty, pork. You know, a quite saucy pork dish. Uh, chicken cacciatore, maybe, that sort of thing. I mean, you know, something with lots of flavour wouldn't bother it. Um, but I think it's time to get this drunk up. I am going to contact a few devotees among our clients who love white rain wine and see what they think. Give them a, off, off a, a bit of money off and just get it sold. But, you know, fascinating. Absolutely fascinating to taste it. And um, I'll have another glass with great pleasure. <laughs>